Good evening and welcome to News24. This is Mahrin Sandani with the top news of the day. All the government services except police and hospitals will remain suspended from Thursday to April 4. Cabinet Secretary and Principal Secretary to the Prime Minister's Office announced it while briefing journalists at a press briefing at the Secretariat. They urged all to obey the directive and to restrict movement. They said the government had taken this decision as there was a possibility of community spread of coronavirus. The government will help for the low-income people. Ermi will assist with field-level administration. Within 16 days of the first case of coronavirus being reported in the country, the third death has been reported and the number of infected people climbed to 33 with six fresh cases. Dr. Mirza Di Sabrina Flora, Director, Institute of Epidemiology, Disease Control and Research, IEDCR, said at a press conference on Monday afternoon. Of the six fresh cases, three are men and the rest three are women. She stressed the need for intensifying the preventive measures and maintaining personal hygiene to restrict the spread of the virus. Flora urged people to remain inside, avoiding all kinds of mass gathering to stay safe. The number of global coronavirus cases increased near about 350,000 with more than 15,000 deaths worldwide. The UAE is suspending all passengers and transit flights for two weeks, while Saudi Arabia has imposed a dusk-to-dawn curfew to curb the spread of the coronavirus pandemic. In Europe, Italy has moved to stop all travel within the country as more than 5,400 people have died in the country from COVID-19, the illness caused by the virus. Spain, the second worst affected country in Europe, plans to extend a state of emergency until April 11th after recording more than 1,700 deaths. Meanwhile, German Chancellor Angela Merkel is herself in quarantine after a doctor who treated her tested positive for coronavirus. Amid a growing demand of personal protective equipment, PPE, from healthcare professionals, Health Minister Zahid Malik has said at a press conference at the Secretariat that Bangladesh does not require a huge number of PPEs, PPEs right now. The minister came up with a remark at a time when healthcare professionals, including doctors, nurses and interns, claimed that they have been putting their own lives at risk while trying to identify and treat those infected with coronavirus. The minister, however, said that Bangladesh is ready to tackle the situation. A 500 members committee led by Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has been formed to fight and prevent the spread of coronavirus in the country. Road Transport and Bridges Minister Obaidul Kader disclosed the information at a press briefing at his secretary office on Monday. The committee has been formed with prominent doctors of Bangladesh Medical Association following a directive by Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina and committee will coordinate with the subcommittees of the health department, said Kader. The road Transport and Bridges Minister further said that the Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina will address the nation in the evening of March 25th. She is expected to issue the directives on the coronavirus outbreak in her speech. An Italy returnee, 60 years old man, suffering from fever and breathing problem, died in a private hospital in Poirop Upazila of Kishorgonj early Monday. His family took him to a private clinic around 10.30 p.m. yesterday after his condition deteriorated, but doctors there referred him to another hospital. He breathed his last at a private hospital at around 11 p.m. A team from the Institute of Epidemiology, Disease Control and Research, IEDCR, has collected his blood sample. Meanwhile, an elderly man of Tolarbak in the Mirpur area in the capital, who was close to a COVID-19 patient, has died. 
The 76-year-old man died around 7.45 p.m. on Sunday and he was also infected with the coronavirus, police said, quoting IEDC a report. On the other hand, Shipchor Upazila of Madaripur is under lockdown for the fourth consecutive day. The Upazila administration on Thursday announced the closure of all types of shops and public transport, excluding medical raw materials and grocery stores, from 7 p.m. to prevent coronavirus infection. The Information Minister Hassan Mahmoud strongly condemned the dismissal of 27 employees of a private channel SATV in the midst of the coronavirus crisis. The Information Minister made the remarks while meeting with the newly elected leaders of the Taka Journalist Union at the Secretariat on Monday. At the time, he urged the owner of the television to reinstate all those who had been dismissed. During the meeting, journalist leaders welcomed the government's various initiatives to combat the coronavirus outbreak. And that's all the news for today. Thank you for watching News24. Please stay with us.